everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I'm doing a slightly different video today because something very unusual happened. I typically don't do videos talking about, you know, pop culture and things like that, but maybe I should start doing them a little bit more because there's some very distinct relevancy here. So if you are joining me, this is the first video you've ever seen of mine. I am a spiritual practitioner, I'm an angel medium, and I usually talk about higher consciousness work and still being human. So, you know, kind of completing out your human lessons while trying to evolve, right? <laughs> so the other day I was watching the Shane Dawson docu-series, right? He's been doing this recently and it is amazing. It has absolutely revolutionized the YouTube platform, taken us all, just, it just intrigued all of us and dragged all of us in, in this obsession, right? <laughs> and this one is about the beauty industry and Jeffree Star. So I'm going to get into this a little bit deeper here, but I want to talk about this as it relates to our consciousness. How weird is this? I know, hang with me. I got a whole thing here because it was like coming to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I never would have connected the dots and there's the message. All right, so let me back up here a little bit. I knew of Jeffree Star, not from MySpace days, um, but rather when he first got on YouTube. And what really drew me in was that, first of all, he's stunning, he's beautiful, and I loved how feisty he was, <laughs> especially in the early days. Um, I mean, I loved his feistiness, but there were some times, especially again in the beginning, where it would kind of start looking like he was in pain. And, you know, as a medium, I pick up on that stuff. As a Scorpio, I pick up on that stuff, right? And I think he is a Scorpio PS. So maybe that's why I kind of felt like I understood where he was coming from when he was having those moments. Um, but as he has evolved and he started his business with like, what, like three liquid lipsticks or something, and now he's like an empire. It's crazy and so inspiring. And it, it was all done in a very, very short period of time. So that's what I really liked about Jeffree Star, and that's why I am fascinated by <laughs> this docu-series. I've also loved Shane Dawson for forever, all right? I have followed him for many, many years, watched how he evolved from doing skits to food challenges to conspiracy theories, and now doing this type of storytelling, which I said before, revolutionize the platform of YouTube. That can't be underestimated, all right? That's not, that's not hyperbolic, okay? This is a big deal. This is history that we are witnessing, okay? You know this is history that we are witnessing and you know that there's something in the consciousness grid that's happening. I know, you guys might say, oh, Michelle, that's a stretch. Hang with me, I know what I'm talking about here, okay? <laughs> but there is such a thing, there's such a thing going on in the consciousness grid that people are trying to knock them down. Okay, there's lots of stuff that happened to Jeffrey this past year, and there's stuff that people tried to pull with Shane, too. This is how you know. This is how you know people are basically opening other people's minds, okay? Expanding how they think, changing neural pathways, <laughs> right? So I'll get a little more into how that works here in just a second. But when I'm sitting there watching this, and I'm seeing people, all the comments that are coming in, People are connected. That's what it's about. It's about connectedness. Just this morning, I was having a video chat meeting with somebody, and I brought that up. Or maybe she brought it. I don't remember who brought it up. One of us brought it up, and we were both like, oh, my gosh, I'm obsessed. Did you see this part and that part? And I was like, yes. And you know what? <laughs> Most of you out there, some of you are conspiracy-minded, you know, and you're going to go, oh, it's just a marketing ploy to buy a sweatshirt and a palette. Yep. You know what? Maybe it is. <laughs> care. I just don't care. This is where I'm going with this. The last thing I need is a sweatshirt. But you know what? Because this has touched my heart so much, watching these two do what they authentically came here to do, watching people in their truest purpose, doing presumably what they love because the love seems to come through, right? That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing to witness and it is a beautiful thing to be a part of. So yeah, I'm gonna buy a sweatshirt when they're back in stock. They sold out in 20 minutes or something crazy like that. <laughs> Last thing I need is another eyeshadow palette, but I'm gonna buy the makeup when it comes out for Shane Dawson. Why? Because I wanna be able to have that and go, remember when? Remember when? Now some of you are gonna be sitting there going, oh my God, Michelle, this has nothing to do with spirituality. Yes, it does. 
Yes, it does. It's about connection. I'm having a meeting with somebody and as soon as we started talking about this series, we were connected. I mean, we were connected in a business sense before, but we were really starting to connect and going, you love that, I love that too. And there are millions of people out there who are a part of this moment in time connecting with each other's energies. Oh, well, Michelle, that's been happening with all of these other videos that get millions of views. Hang with me, okay? <laughs> Jeffree Star. Let's talk about Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star made color on your face normalized. Yeah. I mean, Mac was pushing color, but it was not every every person that was going out and purchasing color for eyeshadow, right? Jeffrey also made the indie label, right? Like being an independent makeup owner, right? Business owner, made it so that it wasn't like the indie is like the small little company that's struggling to survive up against the big guys. Jeffrey came out and showed, hey, no, you can be really successful at that, <laughs> all right? And that's very inspirational. Shane, is taking a different approach to telling human stories. Change, 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 neural pathways, rewiring people's brains. Now this sounds a little spooky like, oh, Shane's his own conspiracy theory, right? Like he's <laughs> rewiring everybody's brains. No, 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 that's not what I'm getting at here. But what I am saying is that because there is a different approach than what we've seen before, we are changing how we think. And now when everybody comes and they're all changing how they're thinking, they're being a little more open-minded about things, we're connecting in with one another. There are energetic connections that are happening. There are synapses, okay? And now all you have to do is, you know, pull up to a restaurant and be like, hey, did you see the Shane, you know, docuseries? Oh my gosh. And immediately it's like your best buddies because you're sharing this moment in time. There is an energy that is going out. And yes, there are plenty of things out there that maybe that happens with, but this is the one I'm personally obsessed with right now. <laughs> so that's the one I'm gonna talk about. But really, I, I just found that so interesting that I felt so connected to other people, people I've never met on social media because Shane's sweatshirts and backpacks, I, <laughs> I'm a 42 year old woman and I want one of those backpacks, okay? It's like a piggy face. I can't even take it, okay? Michelle, you're just so, oh, you're just giving into marketing. Bah, 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 bah. <sighs> Don't make me make a video about that because I will, all right? <laughs> Don't test me with video making, all right? I will do it. But no, it, it's the whole, there, there's, there's an energy and this upliftment and everybody now is going to see that merch and they're gonna remember this time and they're going to remember Shane and they're going to remember Jeffrey. These are people that have revolutionized how we become successful and they have shown that you can be who you are despite what anybody has to say about it and you can still be out there creating what you want. Hopefully they're creating out of joy. <laughs> Again, I, you know, it seems like they are, but get out there and be you and have people come together with you powerful it's really powerful and it is opening up our consciousness again just by changing the way something is done and by us being willing to plug into that why do I feel like I'm gonna have to like argue the marketing thing whatever by us plugging into that all right we have something in common it's just that simple and now I don't know people I've talked to when we start talking about that our hearts open we're having fun. We're laughing about things we liked. <laughs> We're talking about things we wonder about. It's not gossip. It's not low frequency. It's just something to enjoy together. So that's really all I wanted to say about that. I just thought it was interesting and I started to get some downloads and messages about how you don't have to go out and try to connect the world by being a spiritual guru. As a matter of fact, the era of the spiritual guru is over, all right? You can go out and just do what you do. Be you, be authentic to your purpose. And you connect people, you connect energies, all right? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.